I only stopped for octagon stop signs. And you came then to London, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants, and then we set you and I on recrafting them, and then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls alone. See? They were partners. I knew it. I already guessed it. Na 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 Come on, man. Step up your game, story. Surprise me. Surprise me. Surprise. Through your children, Magnus, to spare them the world you have created for us all. Okay. Hey, an elevator. Chunk. Oh, what's with the dramatic music? gonna talk all right well that was very musical elevator ride I don't know why but I felt the inspiration to go up here first rather than down there I tried I tried so hard I will uphold my promise I will always protect them for you my eyes are your eyes my heart is your heart I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn all to save them. Super. Looks like I need to activate some stuff, then come over here. La 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 Okay. Uh, well, let's go this way. <laughs> The control room. Why not? Why not? I will control the room. There's a bunch of toggle switches. Let's look around before we dink around with that too much. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Pretty weak excuse. What is that? What is that? Cthulhu? No, I think. Wait, maybe that's his daughter? I don't know. Min Minotaur? Oh, it's a Minotaur. Ma. Can't read what it says at the bottom. It's a Minotaur. Further proof that the. Okay, I don't know why I could walk back there. Alright, let's go. Sorry, I got distracted. I'm not even gonna mess with the toggle switches because if this is here, obviously I need to do this. I'm not even gonna bother. You're just gonna be like, nope. Just Chuck Testa. Like, fine. Danger. Compound X. Highly flammable. Highly corrosive. Highly toxic. Highly zombie. Ooh, it's all glowy. All right. Um. I think this shows the configuration I need. Maybe. Oh. There we go. It's 
that a Geiger counter I'm hearing? There we go. It's all, it's all good now. Now I can probably toggle all the switches and get them all in there. And that will do whatever it, that it does. Whatever it is that will do. <laughs> Climbing the ladder. Walking along the road. On the grand road. La -de -do. Then I can... Uh, flick. Flick, come on. There we go. I just have to wait for that pipe to go all the way down. There. There we go, that's everything. Whatever that does. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. Yay! Yay! Somehow I doubt that's going to go that well. Yay! Oh no! Well, I'll just flip this lever and save them! Daddy! 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 Oh wow! That's kind of futuristic looking. Whoa. Now, Mandus, set them free! Set them all free! Yeah! Okay, whoa, what is going on? What do I do now? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. No, 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 I probably have to flip the other switch now. It's probably active. Hold on. There we go. Um, okay. It's probably good that that's happening. Oh, my. Whoa. I live. I breathe again. I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. Pig. He was an Thanks. enemy? Big shock. Boys, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Alrighty, what happens now? Or is that the end? Is that the end? No, it's not. Okay. I was going to be like, Mandus Sabator, there are feats of engineering contained herein that would make those clever fellows at the Institute real with envy. I was going to say, if that was the end, i have been like, eh, I felt the time it's short. Daddy. They're dead. They were right there. They're dead. Okay, let's go. And emerging. I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. So, another big shocker, his children are dead. Which I guessed. 
I'm so smart. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, unrealizing who he is and what he has become, tear himself apart down the bricks and begin again? Fire our souls, just this! Tiny cogwheels and clockwork, the intricate machines to serve function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task. Can a man, defined by his action, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent? Set to sabotaging this body, his machine, until those children of his soul turn a new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century, with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wire, as I ask myself, this is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely to die amongst my creations, and continue to live as a monster. So, I guess I became remorseful for what I've done. Pressure regulation. So it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember! All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from the orphous torn agape into my open by whatever part thing. Complic big words. Where are they? Where are my children? Why do you ask, Mendes? You know the answer well enough. No, my zombie children are still alive. Maybe, not really. Children are really wonderful. Children are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proven indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. Oh, that's, that's nice. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source. But... Drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Firmed with just a shortened broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep the pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast or risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will send in their comrades. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile and tell them I am so proud. Find, then feed them to the pigs. Awesome. Find the children who don't survive and feed them to the pigs. Oh, what useful children. Anything here? I see a lot of lights. I would think I can interact with something. Oh, that's glass. Okay. Take that machine. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Yeah. Steam vent acts is only at low pressure. Looks like the pressure's pretty low to me. Um...
It's kind of interesting having a protagonist will actually say words. Not often. But, you know. It talks. Okay, a magical door slid close. And I can no longer go that way. Well, at least I know I don't have to go that way then. Na 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 na. Probably because it loaded a new area and it doesn't want me to go back, forcing it to. I guess I could shimmy through here, huh? There we go. Here we are. This is the correct way. Alright, I don't think that music change is necessary, but. Teddy bear. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me. Alright, you can return to normal vision now. Okay. Alright, that's kind of bright. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, where am I now? There is a spoon of medicine, I say. It is a silver spoon. What you did to get born holding, ever so painful for mommy dear, but grasped so hard it was screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get away all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins. You used to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next? I asks. You and your little silver spoon, made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what have I become? You become a weirdo? <laughs> Alrighty. Who writes weird poems about eating souls with a spoon made of your children's silver spines all right why not makes sense to me is the monster actually here oh I don't think he is all right this looks like an area monster would be in though lots of little areas to sneak around and stuff but The light is flickering though, so I think we're safe. For the time being. At least. Um, Alright, looks like the place I want to go. I gotta f activate something. Let's see here. What should I do? Danger! Ensure conduits are pr correctly placed to avoid pressure factors. Child fatalities this month. 17. That's nice. That's good. Seems like the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility. Something I clearly did not realize my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the system, reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Am I going to need this then? In the throes of my evil, I sent children into pipes to clean them. Then it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious mouse storm of engines. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils and the fumes of that godless compound X that fuels these machines, and I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. 
There we go. Looking good. Can I put it back in? Nope. Let's go. La 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 la. All about me. The thunder machinery and the blasts of boiling steam. I cannot pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster. Cracked. My circulation stagnated. My vital motion to be. The steam will boil me whole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Alright. Break more shit. That sounds fun. That's much funner than fixing stuff. How boring. Some form of steam regulator. I wager if I could disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mundus, you clever old goat. I can feel this horror. This grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am overman. What? I am over, man. Da na 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 na. There. Oh no, it's a piggy. Oh god, there's multiple piggies. Run, 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 run. Aha. Fuck you, piggy. I'm sorry. I said a swear. Ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha Now quickly, through the pipes, before the pressure returns and they fill me with boiling corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarling itself about me. Its unholy, inhuman mind coil and slick and send dark tendrils through the conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets. I will fetch help. I shall lead people upon the factory, burn it to the ground, and seal this evil place underground forever. Yeah, see that's a good plan. I better get out of here. I don't know how much time I have. Not much apparently. Uh, okay. This is your Mandus. This is what you dreamed it to be. I will stop you. I will save them. You <laughs> It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my piggies. Kill them all. No. Go up by pressing down in the elevator? That doesn't make sense, but okay. Wouldn't you think it would... Alright, I'm not going to question it. That's fine. That's fine anything to save them. You profit my visceria. We will make you escape forever. You slit the throat, bleed out the pig, and release it into curdle. That, you set, you, you set your species free. I don't know why I was getting tripped up on such a simple sentence, really. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm not the best speed reader. Out loud, at least, you know? I don't often read aloud. I guess I'll get better at it now. Alright, that sounded promising. I don't want to get off this elevator. Yeah, okay. I don't trust it. I do not trust this elevator. No soliciting, no hawking, no... Alright. Oh no, they're killing the people in the town! Oh god. oh god, no, what have I done? You've doomed humanity, good job. Oh wow, this is crazy. 
Naked man, wanna be amnesia without a naked man? up some orphans. I hate them. We'll feed them and then we'll feed them and blah blah blah. Quite the dramatic change here. Set aside our entire wing of the mansion for their parties. We invite them. From near far, we guzzle the fine wine. We hose. God forgive me, what have I unleashed? I stand and smell the burning city, I see ash upon the wind, I hear the roars of sickening beasts, and the screams as they fall upon the city and drag the people below for the slaughter. Now I understand what the composite ingredient of Compound X must be. I also understand this is my responsibility now. I must find a way back to the heart of the machine and complete what I started. I mean, it is kind of your fault. Yay! I did a good job. Hmm. I stood and looked at myself in the mirror. What? What? Okay. I stand and look at myself in the mirror, penis in hand, and my reflection grins at me. Oh, lovely! And his mouth is full of sulfur mustards. Vain fool, he sneers. Are you really so different? Do you genuinely believe your works of evil are any greater than the rest of them? You are simply a weak man, a product of this age, the same as any other. This empire, Cretan, this is the killing in to see the natural result of the social dwarfism. If you are evil, then this world is evil. You just let the blood run in the street rather than hiding in the poorhouse. You hold the blade and slide home. Do not pray for a man to do this to you where you cannot see it. If you are evil, at least yours is an honest evil, and that alone makes you ubermensch. Fine, thus, I wash my hands and go to bed. Okay. Um. Alright! Okay! A lot of big words in this game. Which I understand, I just have trouble pronouncing them. They're hard to say. Most of them are big, a lot of them are big words that people just don't use anymore. Do you, know? you hear me, Mandus? This is what you planned.
<laughs> there are too many of these damnations. These beasts loose on the street to have all come from the engine rooms. As I emerge, I counted three damnable phenomic lifts which suggests the machine has been planning this for some time. Smuggling routes to the surface all about this neighborhood. If my bearings are correct beyond the alley, I shall stand directly over the one of the, the ignition rooms. And I wager I will find a phenomic there and will carry me back to the machine's heart. Beast! Creature! Where are my children? Where are my children? The sounds they make kind of remind me of like a car engine. Like a. You know? Well, I think I'm gonna call this video. Uh, good for now.